paid good money for it. And it was this big. And a team of eight becomes a team of five. Hi. Okay, now there's work to do. So for the next part of our day, we're going to throw a little like lesson about HIV AIDS for the local high schoolers. We brought them all here in the church and uh, we're gonna give a little spiel, a little talk about what it means to, you know, make sure you find your value in the right places. I don't know how this is gonna work. Ooh. When you're positive, there are symptoms. Um, that show up, like she was saying, So now Connor and I, we're gonna take the dudes and we're gonna talk about male worth and value. How to be a man. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So basically this whole idea was Mariah's thing. She felt like she could work with the community and we could bring all the kids together and basically break off into guys and girls, kind of like what we did at STI a little bit. So Connor and I led the guys part of the discussion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of didn't know what we'd be doing. Kind of let it flow organically to see what would happen. All right, Mariah told me, you know, lead with vulnerability and that will, that will lead you into it. Yeah. Yeah, so I did and it didn't get us anywhere. But it was awesome. Thank you. It was very strong. Thank you. Like for me, I was really nervous and it was really weird because that's very out of my comfort zone, personally. And I thought it went really well. Yeah. Talking about how important the role of the father is and just how much the world just kind of like puts all of these false expectations on men. Trying to get like conversation sparked, but also allowing it to be very free flowing and let them talk. Yeah, and they came up with like great ideas of basically what it means to be a man. Like, of course, everyone starts from the very beginning, you know, providing and, like, having lots of things, you know, having kids. Yeah. But when they finally got to the root of it, they said that, like, being a man is about respect and honoring those around you. Which is perfect, because it led into our discussion about just, like, how being a peacemaker, how you can do that through honor and respect and what that means. And what that means in, in regards to like female relationships and like parents and marriage and sex and yeah so it was perfect and they brought up peacemaker yeah which is really cool we didn't say anything so that was it was awesome to kind of just see that flow yeah it was really cool and just seeing their heart behind a lot of things like they were talking about like the dowries yeah and all of that here in zimbabwe and like bring back to like what it actually means and that's the respect and showing respect for the family but yeah because that can be lost because it's lost in a lot of cultures right about like paying for women and that's not what we wanted to say at all no it was all an honor and respect thing so yeah it was really cool and as soon as we ended it started raining on us yeah, and if you have any ideas about like what it means to be a man and like male relationships or like what does it mean to really be a man, comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah. Okay, it's raining now. Of course it's always raining. Why Zimbabwe? Maybe it's me! Ah! How'd it go? It was really good. Uh, we talked about sex, baby. God was like, uh, they have a lot of questions and I was like, do we have to talk about that? He's like, yeah, I think that's a good idea. And I was like, okay, well, let's talk about it.
about it. <laughs> Throw my plans out the window. Yeah, pretty much, which was great. It was really good. And so they said, oh, it's time to go home. You need to stop talking. And then all of a sudden it's raining and they're like, well, I guess we're stuck here. <laughs> we should try to play a game. Yeah, what game are you thinking? Like what? Like four corners or like... Ooh, that's a fun one. If it's raining, we should probably play a game. They're not going anywhere. Thanks. Okay, do you guys want to play a game? Yeah? Play a game? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna play four corners. So what happens is... Somebody is gonna be in the middle and that person's gonna be it. Alright? Now everyone else will stand in either this corner, that corner, that corner, or that corner. The four corners. Alright? Okay. Alright. Ready? I'm gonna count. Alright, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Run around. Six. So after the uh, the boy girl um, AIDS talk, right? We got back to digging in the playing in the dirt in the sandbox here. And with half our labor force leaving, with Bethany, Josh, and Rebecca just dipping on us, right, to go to greener pastures, um, we were kind of alone. And all of a sudden, like eight little kids show up and decide to help us. And it's funny because about two days ago, I got up early when we were working and I wanted to like contribute more to the project. So I built these little ramps, right, with the idea that we could just wheelbarrow, we could put dirt in the wheelbarrow and just wheelbarrow it up instead of using buckets, just to make the process more efficient. And in the last two days, it was too muddy, so whenever they used them, they just fell apart and didn't work. But now, with the little kids, they instantly picked up the wheelbarrow idea, used the ramps, and we filled in this whole thing, filled this whole thing today in like an hour, which is crazy. And so it's kind of like the idea of like, if you're really intentional with something with, with God or with your wife, right, and you put the work in and the effort, but then you don't see any immediate results, it can be annoying, it can be irritating, it can be aggravating. And I was really disappointed with myself, right? And then, bam, two days later, it gets used for the exact purpose. So it's like putting in the work really did come in handy. So, yeah, God works for all things for a purpose. It's a weird way of using that verse, but oh. They're starting the Jesus film now. So um, I'll catch you later. Like this video, subscribe, do the thing you do. I'll catch you next time. Zimbabwe.